All right, we are live, and what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Crazy House is back with another video slash episode. Today, we are doing another NASCAR Authentic Race. Welcome back to NASCAR Authentic Racing. I'm your host, Crazy Dallas, once again. Today, my NASCAR Authentics today race at Darlington. Um, now, Darlington is actually one of my favorite tracks because there's lots of really big crashes and big a big track um and this is where my nascars have all the fun especially from last year there was a huge wreck took out most of the field there were like what like 15 16 cars maybe even more i don't know i don't even remember i remember though that um um was it Austin Dillon? I think. No, it was Bubba Wallace. Bubba Wallace um actually got turned from William Byron, and then he went right toward Jamie McMurray. That collected him, and then just everybody collect got collected. I know at least. I know I know at least seven racers that survived it. There it was Denny Hamlin. Corey LaJoy, Alex Bowman, Ron Trucks Jr., Chase Elliott, Ty Dillon, and Brad Kosowski. I know that those those guys survived it. Maybe Eric Jones, I don't remember. Um, maybe Eric Jones. I think Eric Jones actually too, so that might make eight, but I don't remember. But yeah, you guys, anyways, enough hushing and pushing. Um Yeah, let's take a look at the lineup. On the poll, we've got Mad Debate Daniel. Matt Benedetto in the 21, and Eric Almarola in the 10. Next up, we got Ryan Newman in the 31, and Clint Boyer in the 14. Next up, we got Denny Hamlin in the 11, and Kyle Larson in the 42. Next up, we, next up, we got Eric Jones in the 20, and Austin Dillon in the 3. And now we've got Chase Elliott in the 9, and Mark Trucks Jr. in the 78. Next up, we've got Jamie McMurray in the 40, and Alex Bowman in the 88. Now we've got Jimmy Johnson in the 48 and Ricky Stowns Jr. in the 40s or in and Ricky Stowns Jr. in the 17. Next up we got Eric A.G. Allmendinger in the 47 and Joey Logano in the 22. Next up we got um Corey LaJoy in the 32 and Brad Kozlowski in the 2. And then after that that row, we've got this row, this brand new row. We got Ty Dillon in the 13 and Daniel Swerves in the 41. Now we've got Darrell Walls Jr. in the 43 and Kevin Harvick in the 4. Now we've got Kyle Busch in the 18 and Ryan Blaney in the 12. And now we got Gray Golding in the 23 and William Byron in the 24. And then we got, for the last row, ladies and gentlemen, for 27th place, you guys, we got, we have got Daniel Hamrick in the 8. As ladies and gentlemen, here's a race info. There are 27 cars. Here at Darlington International Speedway. We are here at Darlington International Speedway. Um, in other words, as a caution, there will be plus two laps, just like always. Um, and how many laps do you, do you guys think there will be? There will be, um, usually, most of the time, there will be eight laps. And we actually are having six laps here at Darlington because the video is already at, like, four minutes. So. Yeah, a little bit of a short one, short race, but if it's overtime, you guys probably won't be complaining. As the green flag is out, and they go racing. As we've got Eric Amarola finally up there. He's been not being so hot, so we're glad that he's up there today. We also have Matt Bedendo up there. So, yeah, you guys, as they come on turn three for lap one. We've got lots of red racers today, you guys. We've got Eric Jones, Jay McMurray, Ryan Blaney, Daniel Hamrick, um, Brad Kozlowski, Joey Logano, A.G. Allmendinger, um, Ryan Newman, Clint Boyer, Kyle Larson, and... Um, I was about to say Paul Menard, you guys. Um, I'm about to say Manta Benedetto. So, yeah, you guys. Um, though, there might be a couple more red racers, like maybe Alex Bowman. 
he might have a little bit red. But I'm talking about the races that have, like, just about mostly red. Like, William Byron has quite a lot in the back. Um, who's the most red car? I think, in my opinion, it's Ryan Newman. Who's actually currently second right now. Now third. Yep, he's second now. Ryan Newman takes down. He's going to take the lead now. Clint Boyer moves down to black. Clint Boyer now taking taking second. Wow, Clint Boyer hasn't been up there since 2018. He's just been back there a lot, man. Chase Elliott's really good at Darlington, you guys. Fortunately, Chase Elliott might have won at Darlington 2020. Stupid Kyle Busch, who I really hate. Just spun him out for no reason. Great job, stupid idiot Kyle. And if you guys like Kyle Busch, I'm super sorry about that. That, um, that I just said. But, um, I like, the only thing I like about Kyle Busch is his paint schemes. He has some good paint schemes, but, man, if you guys like Kyle Busch, I'm super sorry. Um, I just, um, he said that he's been racing ch Chase since when, I guess, they were kids, so, I guess it could have been a mistake, um, but I said that it was a mistake, or whatever, but, yeah, as they approach lap, lap, lap two, still no cautions, surprisingly, you want to see some cautions at Darlington. Everybody's really good at Darlington, though. There's, there's a couple racers that kind of struggle. Man, right? Man, Ryan Newman's flying. Holy cow, you guys. Ryan Newman has om almost like a two-second lead. At least one. One, two. Oh, exactly two seconds. Wow. Man, you guys. Ryan Newman is just outstanding today. Today might be his lucky day. Oh, spinner! Kyle Larson! Austin Dillon! Spinner Jones! Caution comes out! Kyle Larson hits the wall. As Eric Jones and Austin Dillon will be out, but Kyle Larson, lucky guy, he's still in this. Poor Austin Dillon and Eric Jones, you saw them both really trying. Let's look at the replay. So it looks like Kyle Larson got spun out by Austin Dillon, and then Austin Dillon gets loose with Eric Jones, and then they all spun out. And yeah, just not a good start for those three cars, that's for sure. Um, Kyle Larson will be 16th. So... Really bad start for those three cars, that's for sure. As the green flag is out, caution come caution came out by the way, guys. And now they're on lap four. They're just about on lap five now. As the green flag is out and we go racing, Clint Boyer takes the lead. Here comes Chase Elliott. Oh, Chase Elliott takes the lead. Clint Boyer falls down to already fourth, fifth. Man. Run Trucks Jr. up there. I wonder if he'll win. I know that a lot of people like Ron Trudge Jr., Chase Elliott, and, um, what's his name? Um, Jimmy Johnson. I know a lot of people like them, those guys. I do. Um, I don't know which one will be my least favorite. Might be Ron Trudge Jr. Maybe my least favorite. It's hard to explain. Um... But, yeah, um, I like those three drivers. They drive really good. Um, they're very nice. Like, they're very good at Darlington. I, I also heard a lot of people like Alex Bowman, William Byron, too. I like them as well. Um, but, yeah. Um, yeah, I also, um, I'm not a huge fan, but 
I've heard also that H. E. Allmendinger and, and Ty Dillon are really nice people, really nice drivers as well. Who is my least favorite driver? Um, I honestly don't know. It's either probably Clint Boyer or maybe um, Brad Kozlowski or Joey Logano, maybe. It's either one of those. I'm probably going to have to go with Joey Logano. And then Brad Kozlowski and then Ryan Blaney and then... Well, probably not Ryan Blaney. I like Ryan Blaney, actually. He's a very nice guy. Um, Brad Kozlowski's alright, too. Joey Logano isn't the best, but... He's alright, too. Everybody's alright, but it just depends. Chase Elliott still takes the lead as they're now on lap, lap, um, lap six out of six, actually, you guys, Chase Elliott might win again, you guys, you saw the last race, he just won, can Chase Elliott win two times in a row, Chase Elliott, right now, is fourth place for points, he might be, first place right now, you guys, for points, is um, actually, let me, it actually doesn't say, it might, it looks like, I don't know, it doesn't say, but Chase Elliott can taste the victory here at Darlington, but the question is, will there be a caution before that happens, and I don't think there will be, he's right there, you, you guys, the fish thing's right there, only one last little thing, Chase Elliott's so close. He's like, the fish line's like right here, you guys. Yeah, Chase Elliott's so big. Wait, plus there's a caution. Oh, there is! There is a caution! The, the big one! Oh, Brad Keselowski flips. And Chase Elliott still wins the race. But Joey Logano. And the big one still happens. Jimmy Johnson. AJ Allmendinger. Nice save by AJ Allmendinger. Huge wreck. Hamrick involved. Kyle Larson involved. Damn. Chase Elliott wins the race two times in a row now. Chase Elliott comes up to second place in points. And... And it says right here who's first place it is Ryan Blaney. Or not Ryan Blaney, um, Brad Kozlowski, my bad. Um, it's Brad Kozlowski. Third place is William Byron. I think he just won a race, too, maybe. I think so, but he's been very good the last couple races, I think. I think. I'm not quite for sure, but I think. As the last three racers... Or not, not last three races, my bad. Last place was, let me check here, it was Austin Dillon. Very unfortunate. I think he just won a race in my series. I'm actually not quite for sure once again, but I think he did. I might be mistaken, but if he did, that really sucks. Because he'll be down a couple spots, actually quite a lot. He'll be down like, like, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe seven or eight spots now. That really sucks for Austin Dillon, too. He was in the playoffs for the actual series this year. I think he won at Texas. Was it Texas? I don't know. I actually don't remember, but it was about, I think, a month and a half ago now. It wasn't too long ago. As Chase Elliott, the confetti Napa auto parts. Um... Charlotte Roval winner, Chase Elliott. This is in 2020 NASCAR Athletic, by the way, you guys. And Chase Elliott wins two times in a row. That makes him second place. He is he was already automatically in the playoffs. Now, for the playoffs, if he wins one last time, he might be starting first place for the first race of the playoffs. But, ladies and gentlemen, the first 
straight for the playoffs. If they tell a little bit, it might be like, um, it might be like, um, maybe a couple more months, like maybe two or three more months, and then the playoffs happens. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.